All right, from this video, we're going to take a look at the geoprocessing. So there are a lot of uh, geoprocessing tools here. We're going to be uh, talking about that from this video onward. So the first geoprocessing we're going to take a look at is the merge. So in our previous video, we had assigned the population and area data to Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. We know that these three countries all together are known as the Indo-Pak area. So what I want to do is I want to merge these three different shape files into a single shape file. All right. So when you go to attributes table of these individual shape files, you'll see uh, only one field and only one polygon and the name there of the country. And for this one, you're going to see the similar thing here. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to merge this three to merge it. We're going to go to geo processing, then click on the merge and the merge tool will open up here. It says uh, a few things about the merge. It says combines multiple input data sets into a single new output data set. This tool can combine points, line or polygon features, classes or tables. Use the uh, append tool to combine input data sets with an existing data set. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to uh, combine our three polygons into a single polygon. So first I have to input the polygons from here. If you use the drop down menu, then you will be able to select from your lists here. Or uh, if you click on the folder, you'll go to the connection folder and see what you can find from there. So uh, I prefer working with the lists since it'll be much easier. So first let's input the BGDADM0. I have no idea why it takes so long for me to do something, to do something, to do something. There we go. Let's take India and then let's take Pakistan. There you go, we have it. Now the output data set, you can uh, change the location of the output data set. Sometimes what happens is that if you change the output data set, the software gets cranky and angry and sad and it cries. It's the, it tells you that no, I will not do that. I want to save it in the C folder, in the C drive. So that will be a big problem for us. But for now, let's try to save it where we want to save it. So let's go to our linked folder. There we go. Then we have the Indo Park with population here. I am going to name it. Save type as tables, feature classes, tables, feature classes, random classes, rest of classes. So it's going to be feature classes. As I have said one in one of the previous videos that feature refers to shape files. Okay, let's give it name. Let's call it the Indo Park zone or area i i really don't know what it's called i just know it's called in the park uh, let's call it area okay there we go in the park area and do a save there we go and then you just need to click on okay and it's merging merge 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 it is merging and it's merged okay and you'll see uh, a new new shape file on your uh, what do you say, call it lists so let's remove the let's uncheck the previous ones this is our new shape file and if you go to the open and uh, the attributes table you'll see that this time it has uh, three field ids instead of one so the first field id is bangladesh the second one is india the third one is pakistan if you come here, you'll see that the areas are also here along with the populations. Okay. So that is how you can do a merge. And now if you take the identify and click on here, there you go. It still is India. Okay. And it is only showing it for India. So when we merge something, they just merge into a single shape file, but they still retain the, uh, the older shape files actually become the individual polygons, different individual polygons, such as the case was for, let me just uh, close it and show you an example. If I open the BGD administrative area one, you will see here, uh, let's zoom in there. 
there you go you'll see here that this is the bangladesh country but it has different polygons which are the different districts okay so the same thing happens here with this there we go zoom extent there we go the same thing is happening here this is a single shape file but with individual polygons and each polygon here is representing a country uh, but in this case in the blue case it was a single shape file and each polygon was representing a district so that is the bigger version of that we just made so that is how merge works now if you want to make it into a single polygon a single shape file and a single polygon then that is what we're going to learn in the next video okay so thank you very much for watching and i hope you got to learn something new if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you